I'm Eric Peterson, broker at Copa Real Estate. Happy holidays. And in this video, I'll review the most recent real estate statistics for Cedar Park, Texas area. As of December 1st, there are 85 homes under contract and 181 homes active for sale. In November 2022, there were 51 homes sold, which was down 61.9% from last year. Average dollars per square feet were down 7.8%. Average sales price was down 6.7%. And the median sales price for Cedar Park real estate was down 9.9%. Now, if you're like me who like to view the glass as half full, according to the Texas Real Estate Center, the Austin real estate market average sales price has appreciated 63% in the last five years. And the median sales price has appreciated 61% in the last five years. You know, I feel obligated to always tell people this, that my biggest regret in my life is I never was able to get my dad to move down to the Austin area until he had a stroke and it was really too late. And so, you know, this is my favorite picture of all time that popped up today. The one thing that people always tell me is that time flies and the first four years are the most important, but I had no idea what that really meant until I lived it for myself. And between Thanksgiving and shortly after Christmas is the time of the year I get a lot of calls, especially from seniors wanting to move closer to their kids. They visited family and grandma's decided she doesn't want to be a FaceTime grandma anymore. You know, in a normal market, often grandpa will say, well, we can only sell a home and make $235,000 and we can't afford to move unless we make $250,000. So grandma misses out on being in-person grandma for years three and four over $15,000. And I can already tell this season will be worse. In real estate, we've gone through two years of fantasy land, and now we're back to reality. About half the people who are calling me can't accept that we aren't in fantasy land anymore, and their lives won't be as good as it could be. They've anchored themselves to a real estate market we will never see again, and despite doing what I can to give them the best information available so they can make a good decision, they're going to be stuck. And in the end, my guess is those people who can't get over fantasy land will wind up doing what they should do today, except a few years from now, and they'll miss out on all the important milestones and probably not made enough money to change their fortune. And knowing what I've already learned in one and a half years, that's a huge mistake. So we will be back in two weeks with predictions for the 2023 real estate market. There is a lot of misinformation about what's happening out there. And I would hate for you to make life plans based on that bad information. If you're planning a move, let's talk, schedule a conversation at copaconsultation.com or send me a text at 512-791-7473. Merry Christmas and happy new year. And we'll see you in 2023.